Okay, here we are for round three. Let's go take a quick look at the opponent's deck. So he's a similar red-black shell. He's got incinerate. Let's see what else he's got here. Gorehorn Minotaurs, okay. Chandra's Outrage. And Soren's Thirst, so lots of removal. Okay. This hand looks uh, just fine. Go ahead and keep. So Soren's Thirst, Incinerate, and Chandra's Outrage. We've seen all of these cards. Because we have a lifelink at a premium, uh, we're going to try to trade the goblin here for our um, travel knight counterpart. So here we've got pretty even creatures just kind of trading back and forth. Yep, we definitely like to see that as a 3-3. We'll be happy to incinerate that. Um, let's see, we could incinerate it now and bash. I Huh. Or we can see if he offers the trade up. Let's see, he's at 21. Yeah, I guess we'd rather trade up here if possible. And we could have played the um, Devouring Plague there. Probably would have been a little bit better, actually, now that I think about it. Kind of get the clock going. Ooh, that is not good. Um, okay, so here we're going to lose the land and the. It's kind of interesting. I'm not sure if we want to keep Incinerate or the Swarm. Um, like, Swarm is better if we get the. Skeleton online, but I think we can use our gravedigger to get stuff back. And this is actually a very nice card to draw here. Um, in a top deck war, uh, elementals pretty good. And I guess he has the answer for it though.
Okay, still kind of drawn. Not so great here. Bone breaker, sure. Okay, so now we've got the skeleton online. Here we can drop the uh, swamp just to be able to tap and incinerate, or to tap and bring this guy back. I mean, he might have another, like, mind rot, so holding the land might be better, but I mean, it's going to be very mana intensive to be using the crown, so I think it's fine to drop the land here. Um, I guess we could drop more land, but no real reason just yet. Like, I suppose if we top deck Titan next turn, playing the land that turn would be nice, so we can tap stuff down also. But, like, the zombies could just block his guy anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, now we've got a reason to play it. Um, yeah, Fireball is pretty sweet right here. Okay, let's go ahead and mind rot him, see what he's got. Probably there's a bunch of land. Soren's thirst in a land, okay. So he's definitely still got some action. So we're getting to a point where we can start, you know, getting pretty close to potentially doming him if we keep, uh, you know, drawing land here. Because he's at 17, we can get him to 14 with this, can do 7 with the fireball, so maybe a few more turns, but yeah. Must have some sort of bloodthirst guy here. Bat, that is fine. I mean, we could just incinerate the bat here, um, I suppose, but could just fireball. Well, let's see here. So if we ignore the bat, start taking some beats, we could fireball eventually for nine points. It's twelve, thirteen. We're getting in range. I mean, so what do we have to draw to? We could draw to a shock, another fireball. We could just burn him out, um, take a little bit of beats here. And I think that I'm actually mostly fine with that. Okay. 
I imagine it's lagging here a little bit. Okay. So now, let's see, four, five, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, so we're very close to burning them out at this point, so he doesn't play any other creatures, which he might. Probably one more turn and then we can burn him out. I'm not really sure I see what's going on here. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Sure. 14, okay. Yep. Get him to 11, 4, 8, 10, 11. It should be game right there. We probably want one more turn just because he's probably going to block this guy if he sees us incinerate him at end of turn. Like, he could, he could also have a fireball here, too. So, four, eight, nine. Yeah, I think now if we incinerate him and he doesn't block. Yeah. I think we just incinerate him now. This is going to let him know that we've got Fireball, but... Or we can just play Grave Titan and then Fireball if that doesn't work. Okay. No reason to show the land just yet. Yep, and that's fine. So this way we can't just kill him, um, but we can drop Titan. Cap down his guy, and then fireball him next turn, yeah. Like, if he has Soren's Vengeance, we're, we're screwed here, but hopefully he does not.
Yep, that's fine. Okay, so we could tap his guy, bash, or if we just attack, he goes to nine and we just kill him. I think that's just a play. Seven. So if he's got a Soren's Thirst here, just to make sure he still loses. That should be game. Yep. So what do we bring in? We bring in probably Distress. Um, we could potentially bring in like Dragon's Claw. Don't know that he's that aggressive though. Um, hmm. What do we take out? Um, I think Tunneler here is maybe a little bit less good. Um, I mean, it's fine, but, you know, didn't see too many big creatures on his side of the table. He had the 4-4 the four -four guy. But I think red-black typically have smaller creatures, so if we maybe take out that, that should work. Okay, I think I'm, I'm happy with this. Let's give it a go. So here we are for game two. This hand looks just fine. Okay, we can lead out with the swamp in case we get distress. And he's got the bat for us, okay. So he must have even more bloodthirst, probably like a bloodthirst vampire, or blood rage vampire. Oh, uh, blood ogre, okay. It's definitely pretty good. Um, <clears throat> okay, so what's our play here? Could shock the bat. So if we run out the Warpath Ghoul, we just get hit for 5, go to 11, go to 10. Otherwise we just kill this, take 4, go to 12. I think we need to start beating back. So if we drop the Ghoul, then next turn we can drop Automaton and Shock. I like that a little bit better. Okay.
Now, it might be correct to just chump there with Piker. Actually, that might have been the play. It's hard to say. I'm wondering if that was maybe the play. Onyx Mage and, and Skeleton is a sick combo. Um, okay. <clears throat> so I think that this turn... <sighs> Okay, so if we shock the bat, then we can, yeah, okay, I think we shock the bat, drop the automaton, chump this guy with our 2-1, have a 4-3 up for his mage if he wants to attack, yeah. Okay, I think I like that play a little bit better. We don't have to shock now, because he might just play like Dark Favor or something ridiculous like that, which would give us more value. Okay. Then we'll set up a fireball, hopefully, after that. he tries to like slaughter cry or something ridiculous like that. <clears throat> Very surprised he did not attack with the skeleton here. Um, okay, yep. Alright, shock the bat. Okay. So can we wait on Fireball? If we wait one more turn, we can make two more targets and do one damage to this guy, this guy, that guy. It's not enough. We might just have to kill the Blood Ogre. Um, let's see, if we kill the Blood Ogre... And start chumping. If we don't kill the Blood Ogre, he's just going to kill us, I think, eventually. Otherwise, we can get the Mage and the Blood Rage Vampire. Nope, I think we just kill the Ogre. He's just too dangerous. I hate leaving these other guys alive, but we, we sort of have to make a play here. So he probably has Slaughter Cry. Most likely what he drew. Okay, so if he's not attacking with this guy, then he does not have Slaughter Cry. Okay, so... Yuck. I guess we trade Automaton with Blood Rage. Um, take one, because if we, I mean, otherwise we just death touch it. It's like no reason to to block that. Yep. Okay. Now oh, he's got Gorehorn in the Taurus. Okay. Definitely in a bad place here. All right. Um. So let's see, what's our play? Gets us to seven. You can keep death touching this guy. Um, if we incinerate the mage <clears throat> and then double block the Gorehorn Minotards. And we. Uh, otherwise, we. 
use incinerate and elemental to kill the Gorhan Minotaurs. Still have to worry about mage. This guy can jump here. Oh, this is actually pretty close. Um, <clears throat> I think we're probably more likely to draw like a Gravedigger here, so I think that the play is to kill the mage so we can't force any extra damage with the skeleton. We could just kill the Fire Slinger with that also. Uh, it's hard to say which is better. Yep. And you can force it for one more turn anyways, just because we have to block the other two. Yep, double blocks there. Now we just need some action. Good lord. That is going to do it for this one, unfortunately. So, two Blood Ogres. Gorham Minotaurs. He's got a very nice <coughs> um, Bloodthirst deck here. So, the question is, what do we bring in? It might not be the worst idea to bring in, like, a Slaughter Cry here. Um, <coughs> Probably is, like, it, it ends up like we could use it on like our skeleton, but it's so bad. Ugh. Lava axe, golem. I think we just run it like this. Um, and try to get the jump on him. Yeah. Yeah, I think Elemental is actually maybe not the best card in this matchup. We could probably bring in Tormented Soul. 